So today we have the Xavier Junction DLTC to conduct an oversight to see how it's functioning and we found that the staff was helpful and that the place was not too crowded. Um, the old facility is still being used and the new facility hasn't been opened yet and we're concerned that that is taking too long. Uh, we're also a bit concerned about the testing facilities, for instance, at the incline for the brake test, for instance, is not, is not up to standard. Um, but otherwise, we, we think that there's more capacity here that can be utilized, especially if the eye testing machines are repaired in time. Uh, more people can be helped on a daily basis to renew their licenses. Yes, so we actually came here to uh, ask about the people that were fired when uh, it was uh, determined that they, was, they were selling driver's licenses. But we couldn't get any information on that. What we did divulge from the personnel was that there was a shortage of admin personnel, that there was a shortage of filing capabilities, and as well the main problem that we identified that they still dealing only with cash and they haven't got cash list yet. So yes, a number of problems that need to be addressed, but like Fred said, on the overall, it looks like things are happening. And hopefully that they would hopefully also soon get a generator here because when there's load shedding, they can't help their clients and that obviously has an impact on the backlog of the licensing um, center. But we will be asking some questions in the legislature about this facility and to see uh, by when some of the upgrades will be complete.